All right, Shalom. Shalom, giving our praise and glory and honors unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This will be, once again, another update on the MOTB, uh, starting with this, this uh, system that is being set up. I'm sorry, the system is being set up, the infrastructure is being put in place, and the people are being made ready for what's to come. Um, now, there's been a lot of uh, controversy dealing with the uh, Catholic Church uh, uh, recently and, and, and in recent years, of course. Um, so they've come up with a solution. Now, this is from the New York Post. And and this is something that uh, Vocab Malone, he needs to attack these people here. You know, since he's the Christian crusader, we need Vocab Malone to attack what's going on in the Catholic Church. All right. So it says French Catholic priests forced to wear QR codes for SEX offender status. Now, I'm not going to go into the controversy but I want to go into this system that they have here in place um, for these offenders. So it says Catholic priests in France will be forced to wear uh, scannable QR codes to signal whether they are offenders as part of a national crackdown on abuse, according to church officials. So now there has to be an identifying mark worn by these Catholic priests in France in order for them to be identified um, as these offenders. This is the beginning of the MOTB system. If you deny it, you're a damn fool. Okay? Let's go into it more. Under the new system, people can scan the wallet-sized cards with their smartphones to receive one of three color codes revealing the clergy's member status, According to the Bishop's Conference of France, red shows that the priest has been stripped of his clerical position, potentially due to child abuse, although the nature of the sanction is not specified. Green is a sign that the priest is in good standing, while orange indicates he's not yet fully, quali fully qualified to lead Mass. The, the day that you need a QR scannable code for whether or not a Catholic priest or priest or church member at all in Christianity is touching children, that's when you need to make a life decision on whether or not you need to, you want to stay believing in that particular religion. Not the scriptures, all right, but the way that the scriptures are being presented to you by these Catholic priests, that has to be questioned. So Vocab Malone, you attack that. Right. Um, it says the system. Remember, this is a system. They're putting in place a system. This is just the beginning of what they want to do. It says the system announced May 10th in an effort by the church to appear more transparent also applies to bishops and deacons. France 24 reported and best believe. They're going to apply this here in the Americas, in America, with you different Christian churches and your leaders, including Israelites. There's, they're going, when this, now they could do QR codes now and then introduce the MOTB. Or they can go straight to the MOTB. But this system is going to be used Remember what the prophecy says, Revelation 13 and 16. He calls it all, small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, church, all of that. Everybody is going to have to get that, that karagma. This is the next step towards that moment. Okay? Uh, it says the Catholic Church held the program as an efficient way to bust imposter priests and intensify the fight against the violence in the church, though it came under fire from abuse victims. 
if we have to scan the QR codes of clergy members to reassure Catholics, it means the church has hit a new low. It's nothing more than a publicity stunt, and it shows this, and that's true. This is what I just said. If you have to scan a QR code for these clergymen, and whether it's Catholics, whether it's Protestant, then the church is here to low, man. And that's because Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is bringing out the truth through the Hebrew Israelites in America and around the world. This man's system, politically, religiously, it's all on the downward spiral. Kala Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. It says it's nothing more than a publicity stunt, and it shows the extent to which trust has been broken between the faithful and the hierarchy. Fran Francois Deval, uh, a former president of the Church Abuse Survivors Group La Parole Libre, the freed word, told the outlet. So now you got these people in the church, these priests, are able to be scanned. So this is the, the uh, future, okay? This is the future of what's coming. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's publicity that's going to lead to the MOTB implantable device in your right hand or your forehead. So, this, so once they get the church in this system, it'll be easier to manipulate the people in the church, just as they're doing in the medical field with the uh, the BCIs, brain computer interfaces. More and more people get these BCIs. More and more people will be willing to go through the operations, and then eventually, MOTB in the hand. And all of this is going to be not just in Europe, not just in America but all around the planet Earth. Okay? Let's go to the next article that I have here. Okay, now this is just another article dealing with what I just read. This is out of France. Okay? So now these Catholic priests in the church will have to have scannable IDs. This is rattled right by repeated cases of abuse over the years, the French Catholic Church will soon provide digital ID cards with scannable QR codes that will offer color-coded background information ranging from green to orange to red on bishops, priests, and deacons. But the new measure is raising eyebrows. And like I said, they could very well introduce this system over here in America and for all of you with these 501c3 churches, including Israelites, Hebrew Israelite churches, all right, that could be a new uh, requirement to continue to get this funding from the GOV. This is why GMS has been telling you what the MOTB, TBE, what the MOTB is, and it ain't sin. It's a sin to take it, but it's not sin. It is a physical device. Okay? Now, this is from out of Atlanta here. TSA pre-check passengers now allowed to use mobile driver's license IDs at Atlanta Airport. The TSA, in partnership with the state of Georgia and Apple, has implemented a new technology that allows passengers to use their Georgia-issued mobile driver's license or ID card stored in Apple Wallet for identity verification during airport security screening at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport. Okay? Once again, another step to the MOTB. They have the technology to put all your information, all your devices, everything inside of a microchip inside of a device now it's in your smartphone you can use your smartphone to scan a qr code things are going to go a lot deeper and mind you they're putting this in your wallet what do you also use your wallet for money 
your identification. Let's go to the, uh, the scripture, and then I'm going to end it. I didn't want to make this too long. I'm getting straight to the point with these. And you can look up the information in the articles for yourself. We've been talking about this, and we're not going to stop talking about it until Yahweh Shai fulfills these prophecies. All right? Until the Lord says to stop. So this is Revelation 13 and 16. Actually, from 15 on down, and you can read it here. I'm not going to read it. You can read it. You see it on the screen. This is where we're at, man. Slowly but surely, they're moving the 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 um, goalposts to the goal of getting what they want with their so-called NWO. This is Esau's plans. Now, what we have coming up this summer. It's also here in America, in the U.S., the Fed Now system, where you have to 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 where the Fed Now system deals with these uh, payment apps, all right, and the Feds know what you purchase. So now we're seeing this this buying and selling. We're seeing how they how they can get, how the beast this system, all right, NATO, including America can get control, this type of control, right? Verse 17. Okay, you see it here. Verse 16. Read the verse up above right there. He calls us everybody, not all big nations, small nations, not an embargo, whatever IOIC used to say. It's talking about people, man. People are going to have to identify themselves on this new digital worldwide global system, whether you're using a QR code, whether you're using uh, um, the actual uh, implant, because you got people that are using those in Sweden right now to buy and sell. They're using it in the United States right now in Wisconsin to buy and sell. It just hasn't been made mandatory. But the more and more these governments introduce these laws and bills and this legislation, these things to where people have to follow it's going to be government regulated and this is going to be the B system that actually causes people to get it mandatorily this is where we're at in prophecy man, we're very close so I hope this has been edifying our praises, our glory, our honors going to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rekha Kodash no longer to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.